All right, good Thursday morning, everyone. It is time to talk about the markets with Jim Cramer on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange. And Jim, we've got Elon Musk, Tim Cook, Andrew Liveris wanting President Trump to stay in the Paris Agreement. Yeah, well, I mean, I think that if you want to be an influence in the world, you stay in. I mean, I think that there should have been some common ground. These gentlemen are smart people, and they uh, obviously are, I uh, believe, in climate change and the negativity of it. But even if you just decided, you know what, the third world, so to speak, is not doing enough, you stay in and complain. Or if you want to say, listen, we have sacrificed our jobs because we are, we comply. Now you've got to start sacrificing your jobs and bring ours back. How do you do that if you pull out? So I don't really get the pull out move. Uh, Nicaragua was not in, but that's because they want us to pay more. Then, uh, Syria, uh, Syria, who knows? But it, it, it's I just don't get it. I mean, if you want to be a force on an issue, you don't pull out. You stay in and you argue your position. So I am uh, either way. I would be with Tim Cook. And President Trump will make his decision at 3 p.m. today. Yes. We'll be covering that on the I street. I just don't get it. If you want to be... You got to be in the tent to make it happen. Thank you, Matt Horwing, for telling me that because it makes so much sense. He's my writing partner. Mm -hmm. All right, let's move on to earnings. We have Action Alerts Plus named Hewlett Packard Enterprise. You just spoke to Meg Whitman. Yeah, you know, I mean, like Meg is now saying it's another quarter. Scott Berman and I uh, uh, are just kind of trying to really make a decision about whether it really will be next quarter. There's a breakout. She told us last quarter is going to be a breakout. The sum of the parts are worth 21. But there are a lot of other stocks out there. And, you know, we always, when we're doing action alerts, we're always trying to make a judgment whether there's something better than what we own. We don't want to bring in a new position without kicking out a bad one. HPE is on the bubble. It's on the bubble. All right, let's move on to some retail names. We have Dollar General. You know what? When Dollar Tree reported, people just said maybe this segment is not good. But I think that was a lot more to do with poor integration of family dollar. Dollar General showed you like Ollie's bargain. Like Ulta, if you offer the people a bargain, they will come. Dollar General made an acquisition of 300 store place, and it's going to rebrand it Dollar General. Dollar General is now ahead of the game. It looks like Dollar Tree may have bitten off more than it can chew, and the family dollar numbers were very bad versus Dollar Tree. Here at Dollar General, people had lowered expectations, and they really delivered a good quarter. This stock is way down. It makes sense to me. All right, another retail name, Express. Yeah, you know, Express has been very challenged, and a lot of people feel it's down 10% comp stores, that it can't come back. Uh, Express is one of those companies there's no real reason for being, sadly. That's how I feel about it. All right, and then we saw GM's auto sales decline from yeah, May. No, you know, here you have Einhorn saber-rattling to try to break something up. We saw Einhorn's performance numbers. They're quite weak. And this makes no sense. The ratings agencies would tell you it makes no sense. The problem is, is that, as uh, my friend Doug Cass said, it, we're in peak auto. And peak water, you don't go breaking up GM. You save every penny. All right, and then on Mad Dash on Squawk in the Street, you talked about Deer acquiring a German equipment you know, company. Deer has just been on fire. I like Cat, but Deer's been better. And Deer has an, ag culture, uh, an agricultural, uh, agricultural cycle that's doing better, including Latin America. And now they bought a Virgin for $5 billion, which is going to make it so their construction and forestry business is much bigger. Just at a time when we sense that Europe is coming back and there's going to be more road building. This is a big road building company. It's going to be competitive with CAT. It's a brilliant acquisition. The stock, I think, will get even more love tomorrow. Deer goes higher. What are you expecting from Lululemon's earnings after the closing bell today? I, that's a tough quarter. You know, that, that's not, I mean, you know, when I divide retail, I divide it among the Dollar General, Costco, uh, I would say uh, you know, Ulta, uh, Ali's Bargain, uh, and yes, definitely Walmart and Amazon against pretty much everybody else. Those are the winners. And I don't know where Lulu fits in. Um, it, it's a tough time for Lulu. They also had that outage, uh, web outage. Now it's not going to be in their quarter, but I just think it's challenged right here. A lot of companies moved into their space. They, I love their stuff. But it doesn't fit into my thesis. PVH is the only one that really fits into my thesis. Um, and uh, of apparel, that's working. I, I am concerned. Let me call me concerned about Lulu. Okay. It is down a lot, but I'm still concerned. All right, we're also- I feel like coach, by the way, with that acquisition. All right, and we're also following Friday's jobs report. What should we expect there? You know, it looked like the numbers today were strong. I mean, one of the things that's been very, I talk about uh, in real money, a bear market in the banks. Uh, it makes no sense given where employment is, but we know that the major trading banks didn't do that well. I caution people, there's 4,000 banks out there. Only a couple do trading. But uh, I, I do think that we're going to get a strong enough employment to be able to raise rates, which is what I care about. Uh, we continue to own City and Key, 
um, Wells Fargo is a legacy, but Wells Fargo is getting cheap. Remember, Wells Fargo is the Chipotle of banks. It's going to take 18 months before people forget what happened. And we're cycling through, but we're not there yet. We're not there yet. All right, Jim Kramer, thank you so thank much you. as always. And for more information on the stocks Jim mentioned, please head back to thestreet.com.